festive season deaths in Soapland are as inevitable as the turkey dinner, but coming back from the dead is a whole different matter. In a huge twist, Coronation Street bosses are to give fans a Christmas treat by resurrecting Gary Windass. Gary Windass will make a surprise return on Christmas Day. Hang on, you say, he isn't even dead yet, but he will be soon, as I revealed last month. A show source said bosses have been trying to keep the Gary news under wraps. They have been heavily building up to his death after the sun broke the news. Fans were gutted. Gary's mum Anna is told in next week's scenes that he was killed driving a diplomat whose car was ambushed. Show bosses say fans will love the twist but it turns out to be a ruse and Gary Mikey North will return to the cobbles on Christmas Day. My source continued to unexpectedly bring him back as a huge twist. Fans will love it. Bosses confirmed Gary's death on Monday in a tweet, even though it doesn't happen on the show until next week. The Post said a devastated Sarah finally accepts the news of Gary's death, Lou confronts Rana and things get worse for Robert. Bosses had been trying to keep Gary's death under wraps naturally fans weren't too happy over the sudden spoiler with some of them fearing they'd missed a key episode. But given the twist in the tale we now know why bosses were so keen to make sure everybody knew Gary's death was imminent. Coronation Street's Gary Windass asks Nicola Rubinstein to abort his baby The Holly and the ITV Christmas wouldn't be the same without Holly Pierce as handed a pressy by Good Morning Britain co presenter Susanna Reed. Christmas has come early to ITV, where some of my favorite presenters got in the festive spirit by donning glitzy outfits and wrapping gifts. The aptly named Holly Willoughby, Susanna Reed, the Loose Women and my colleague Lorraine Kelly will appear every weekday until Christmas to bring festive cheer. Even Jeremy Kyle and Piers Morgan managed to raise a smile. It's a Christmas miracle. Loose Women will help gear viewers up for Christmas. Jezza cracks a smile for Christmas. Tom has Dickens of a time. Tom Hardy says he's lucky to be part of new TV adaptation of A Christmas Carol. Getting a star associated with a new TV program can make or break it. So the BBC will be delighted to have a trio of big names on board for its latest ambitious project. Bosses have teamed Tom Hardy, with Peaky Blinders writer Stephen Knight and top director Ridley Scott to adapt Charles Dickens' classic A Christmas Carol. The drama, to be shown in three one-hour episodes, is being produced by two companies, one owned by Ridley, the other by Tom. Announcing the news today, Tom said A Christmas Carol is a fabulous, magical piece of theater and an embarrassment of riches for our creative team. Top director Ridley Scott is working on adaptation years to having a lot of intricate and wonderful fun. We feel very lucky. The festive favorite about Skin Flint Scrooge and his ghostly visitors on Christmas Eve is the first of a box set of Dickens' works which Stephen will work his magic on over the next few years. Stephen said to have the chance to revisit the text and interpret it in a new way is the greatest privilege. We need luck and wisdom to do this justice. Casting is yet to be announced for a Christmas Carol. The only bad news is that it won't be on our screens until Christmas 2019. Ridley's production company, Scott Free London, previously worked on the dark drama Taboo with both Stephen and Tom. Hopey this will be better than that. Tonight on Coronation Street, Mary has to respond to allegations that she has harmed her grandson. She insists she has done nothing wrong but nobody will listen. Meanwhile, Aiden uses some underhand tactics to stop the sale of the factory going ahead. In Neighbors, Paige is persuaded by Mark to not end things and there's a defining moment for Gabe which lets him prove his commitment. After receiving some good news, Piper decides to take a celebratory dip in the swimming pool. But disaster strikes when she suffers a panic attack in the water. I'm a celeb is so dull bosses are suggesting campsite conversations Chris Hughes appears to kiss mystery girl on night without Olivia Atwood Meghan Markle has that equality the royal family has been missing since 1997 Meghan Markle quits showbiz altogether following engagement to Prince Harry Strictly's Nadia Bichkova labeled a lap dancer by jealous rivals must what Peaky Blinders BBC 2 9 p.m. Why there's another assault on the Brummie gangsters by the Italians, making Tommy Silly and Murphy realize his crew is going to have to radically adapt to survive.